So I mentioned before that we only want one sperm to penetrate the egg. And so we have what are referred to as blocks to polyspermy. So what that means is, is that this blocks more than one sperm from fertilizing the egg. So the first one um, is sometimes referred to as the fast block. So we'll put fast block. And it is an electrochemical charge that um, travels across the plasma membrane and actually makes the um, egg cell um, impenetrable to other sperm. So the fast block is actually what is referred to as a electrical barrier. So we have rapid depolarization of the surface of the oocyte. So that is a electrical barrier. And this has actually been um, studied extensively in sea urchins. Sea urchins have really similar early embryonic development as we do. And so um, that is a model organism because it occurs outside of the sea urchin's body. So the egg and the sperm come together in the ocean, right? And so we can actually see this very easily, like say, for example, in a Petri dish. So then we have what is referred to as the slow block. And this is um, referred to as the cortical reaction. So cortical reaction has to do with the formation of the fertilization membrane. And so there are what are referred to as cortical granules under the surface, under the membrane of the oocyte. So upon fertilization, these granules are released and they harden and they form what is referred to as the fertilization membrane. So they're released upon fertilization, they harden and they become the fertilization membrane. Okay, so let's look at a diagram. This cortical reaction is shown sometimes at the same time as the acrosomal reaction. So this sperm is the acrosomal reaction, remember, is very different. It is actually involves the release of enzymes by the sperm. So the cortical reaction are these cortical granules shown right here, right there, and they are released and they actually, um, become one with the zona pellucida and they actually harden the zona pellucida. And you'll notice that the other thing that you'll see here is, is that the uh, sperm receptors um, fall off. So they clip off the, the hardening of the zona pellucida actually cl clips the sperm receptors off. So no other sperm can actually get inside of the oocyte. So upon fertilization, if we look at another diagram, we can see that um, once the sperm has penetrated and there is actually a sperm nucleus inside, we see that the uh, oocyte begins to complete its second meiotic division. So meiosis is completed and another polar body is formed. Now, why are they called polar bodies? If you notice that they're kind of off to the side, they are small. They are the extra genetic material that happens because of unequal cytokinesis. So the sperm nucleus then swells and then the sperm uh, nucleus and the nucleus of the egg fuses and each one of those nuclei contain 23 chromosomes. And so together there are 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 total chromosomes. And so right after the zygote is formed, 
you can see the cell will almost immediately undergo its first meiotic division. So it'll go from one cell to two cells. You'll also notice in this diagram that we see the fertilization membrane in yellow here. So the embryonic development, early embryonic development occurs within that fertilization membrane, but prior to implantation, the embryo actually has to break free from the fertilization membrane and then we get um, it um, releasing enzymes so that the embryo can embed in the lining of the uterus.